As of recent times, Sony is no stranger to porting their previously console-exclusive titles to PC, as evidenced by both Horizon Zero Dawn and Days Gone. Uh, the move itself can be seen arrival rival Microsoft's own PC initiatives, albeit the competition competition's efforts include cross-buy and play supports. Uh, as part of an investor re- uh, relations meeting, it was leaked that Uncharted 4 is the next PlayStation exclusive plan to be released for PC. Um... I think this is actually a big one, even more so than Horizon and Days Gone. Like, I think Days Gone coming to PC is um, not as big of a deal, considering it's not critically highly regarded, even though it was a huge financial success. Um, At at least I don't don't know how that how that sheet balances out, because it was in development for a stupidly long time. But it was I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And then Horizon Zero Dawn is one of my favorite games from the year it came out. I believe that was 2017. But like Uncharted, like that is that's like seeing Mario on Xbox. That that is Sony's. It'd be like seeing Halo on PS4. Yeah, it, it is. It is Sony's bread and butter. Um, I I get you can make the argument that The Last of Us is now, but you know it's like it's it's Naughty Dog. It's it's their uh, premier studio and whatnot. Um, say granted, so much. Oh, go on. But, but granted, I wouldn't say it's like as much of like a big like, oh, shit moment um, since it's coming to PC. It's 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 from a console perspective from people that are never going to play on PC. This means absolutely nothing. Um, it's the uh, impartial platform like they've already gotten their sales from Uncharted 4. That game came out 2016. It is five years after the fact. Um, and the majority, the overwhelming majority of sales that they got on console, they've already done. Um, it's on the PS Plus collection, and it's their own first-party game, so it's no money out of their pocket. Um, it just makes more sense to bring it to a PC platform where more people can play it, uh, where they can make more money, they can get more people interested into the series, and ultimately, and, and it makes sense for why they specifically did it for Horizon Zero Dawn. They're like, we have a sequel coming out. People really liked it when the game com- came out. How can we get some easy marketing? And make money off of it at the same time. Let's put the first game on PC, uh, get people interested in it, and like, oh, look, now there's a trailer for the second game, but you have to buy a PlayStation, uh, I guess it's on PS4 also, but you have to play it on PlayStation platforms. It's, um, it's, it comes off w- much more as a marketing move, which is ultimately beneficial to people that want to play it on PC. Yeah. It's not like, it's not like some big evil thing, but it's a definite contrast to how Microsoft is doing it, where they're just going, day one with all their releases like if you have game pass it's just yeah no you can you can play it on xbox whatever xbox console there's the multiple xbox one consoles there's a series consoles there's pc like they don't care it's just day one whereas sony is uh many many years after the fact that they cut that they came out um but i I blabbed enough (laughs) You could look at it as uh, Sony is setting a precedent for. I mean, because when 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 Unchar- I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize Uncharted Four was getting a PC port, so this is news to me. But I'll um, be right back if you want to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, basically, I feel like it sets a precedent that um, it sets a precedent of like almost a game changer. Where if you had told me, you know, oh, Uncharted is going to get ported to PC, I'd be like, eh, I believe it when I see it. Um, now that that's happened, it kind of means a lot, a lot of games are free game at this point, because I can't really think of, I'm gonna have to wait till Jose gets back to give me a real answer on this, but like, there's not many games that I can think of that were like, not many other games that were like, just for so long, like P- PlayStation exclusive that now also have a PC port aside from, because yeah, cause like what last of us did last of us get one. I don't know if last of us got one. This is how this is how much I keep up with uh, with gaming news, everybody. Um, for the uh, for the info on that, Horizon Zero Dawn was the first uh, PlayStation exclusive to, uh, or it was the first major PlayStation PlayStation exclusive to come to PC. Uh, okay. Then it was Days Gone. Um, okay, so. and then has The Last of Us gotten a PC port yet, or no? Oh no, no, not at all. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, like, now that Uncharted 4, when, like, I mean, because Horizon and Days Gone were, this might sound weird, but the fact that they were new games on a new platform, and, like, and not part of an existing franchise, it doesn't feel like, you know, it's like, doesn't feel like a shift with those. It just feels like Sony maybe doing a kind of light shift of, like, well, maybe we'll start doing this now. 
But when you put like Uncharted 4 on PC, and that's a game, a part of a series that back to the PS3 was Sony exclusive, never left the console line. It makes you think kind of just like, well, what else could what else could they be putting it on? I mean, they're also Sony, so they could just be dumbasses, and it could just be purely marketing, like like uh, like, like some might theorize. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it sets a precedent. It sets a new precedent of what is possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and I get, yeah, it's a good thing. Um, it's the only people who I think the only people who are going to be mad about it are those weird purists who like get mad that things are no longer exclusive because the only way they get validation for their purchase is that like it's weird i understand if someone's mad because like i literally bought a console for this and i could have i would have not bought this console if i knew this like a year ago but mm, from what i see usually those aren't the kinds of people that actually get mad about these kinds of things it's usually people that are like oh my god this is like a betrayal to sony fans i always buy sony Mm -hmm. consoles but now i can just get it on pc what the fuck uh, I, I there there was someone in my comments one time when I said um I, th- I think it was even for your, what was it final F- I don't remember what game it was but it, it was a game coming to like either PC or Xbox and um someone in the comments just like damn I wish this would have stayed a, a Sony exclusive and I gave them the benefit of the doubt I'm just like oh why do you think that and and their literal response was Xbox people won't know how to properly appreciate it they don't have taste I'm like what the fuck dude it's just, if this was Final Fantasy VII Remake, I have to laugh because I'm like, yo, y'all, we lost that fight with Final Fantasy XIII. Shut the fuck up. It's, 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 I, I can't stand console fanboyism. Like, I might have my preferences here and there. I, I, I own every fucking platform. I, I have no fucking dog in this fight whatsoever. Um, I mean, I, I think it's fair from like a perspective to be like, hey, I'm, uh, maybe from a lower socioeconomic, ec- um, uh, lower socioeconomic background or or i can only justify getting one console or whatever where you can like maybe be reasonably bummed out where a game isn't coming to yours but from like a pure consumer perspective why would you ever be upset that someone else can play a game that you enjoyed it's it's not even selfish it's just like pure fucking uh malice at that point Literally, I, I never understood the mentality of like I can't enjoy it if I know someone else is enjoying it. It's it's that same mentality behind the people who are like, well, no, Dark Souls and Souls like games need to have no difficulty modes because it will devalue my time with it. It's like, bitch, no, it won't. Shut the fuck up. And I'm saying that as someone who's platinumed three of those, whatever. Enough, enough Dark Souls games. <laughs> there is a. Uh... Do you when do you think the Souls trend is going to die? At least from uh, from software. When do you think they're going to f- move on to like a different format? They already are kind of are because I mean I've played a little bit of Sekiro. I've played one, two, and three. Uh, Dark Souls one, two, and three. I played Bloodborne. Um, I. I with every new game they've been releasing, it seems like they go in different directions and slightly different directions. And I don't know. I, 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 I on one hand, I don't know if they're really ever going to stray away too far from it. Cause it's just such a moneymaker to them. But on the other hand, I feel like, like I, I feel like I said, like they, they seem to be gravitating away from it gradually. So uh, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's unclear. Yeah, so Sekiro does uh, definitely does some divergences. Bloodborne did some divergences from like the core Souls um, game design and loops and whatnot. Although, like even at their core, like they are like very much uh, Souls games. They like in their in their DNA. Mm-hmm. But I would think at some level the developers would be like, "Can we do something that so that we're not just the Soul Studio? Like like burn at, create." Creative burnout can be a thing, even if they're stretching out and doing new things like Bloodborne. They're just like, OK, no more blocking. It's, it's is all dodging. This is being very aggressive. You can't be passive. And then Sekiro was OK. People did it. Some people didn't like to parry in our games too fucking bad. You have to parry in this fucking game. You can do platforming and shit like they're, they're definitely adding nice um, uh, variables throughout uh, their newer games. Unless they just make a Dark Souls 4 and just do that again. 